You are. I am so tired. I am tired and I'm exhausted. I am tired. I truly want to Let me just let me just take one more bite. Okay, two more bites. Oh hell, let me just finish the chicken. Mm. I am exhausted. I truly want to shout out to you single mothers out there with two to three to four to five to six to seven to eight kids. You ain't got no baby daddy to help you. You working a full time job. And then you got to go home and cook for your little badass kids. And then you gotta do laundry. You gotta get haircuts. You gotta go food shopping. You gotta go clothes shopping. I truly want to applaud you women, especially the black women who have to do all the dangs. How do you do it? Baby, I'm working a full-time job and I'm like losing my mind. Sister Baddest and I am losing my mind. All the jobs I had in the past were all part-time. And these hoes talking about, I can't go part-time. If I need to, I need to resign the, job, resign the position and reapply. And I'm just like, whatever. I walked right, right out the office. Ain't nobody got time for you hoes. But I say all that. I truly applaud you women out there who work these, these full... How do you... Like, I truly... This is why I know God is a woman. God is a woman. You always, you hoes always talking about, oh, God is a man. I got to give thanks to the Lord. He the man. No, bitch. God is a woman. Put that in your head because the strength of a woman is, is, is crazy. These stupid men. And God ain't no man. Y'all, Baby, who gives birth to a baby? Who gives the birth? The woman. So the woman gave, gave birth to this to this world. Stupid men can't stand them, but I truly just want to applaud you, women out there who who I, I I applaud you all. It is hard out here, and bitch, I'm tired. And it sucks when you're not tired from the job that like I wouldn't I wouldn't mind being tired from this because this is what I want to do. But, but doing a job I, I really don't care about being tired from is is exhausting and I'm almost at my breaking point. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a breaking point, honey, where I'm just gonna say fuck. Listen, we don't get into all that. It's time for <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. It's BW, and I'm here to talk to you. And if you don't like it, you know what you can do. You know what you can do. Get, get, up, get from around here. Get. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that thumbs. I need me another drink. I need another drink. 
Um, I gotta make me another drink in a second. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, you need to take your fat fingers and hit the thumbs up on this show. Meatballs, take your fat fingers and hit the thumbs up on this show. We got some things to talk about. We do. We got some things to talk about, honey. We got to talk about the whoop and this whole uh, Holy Ghost situation of the situation. Uh, what is it? Ho Holy Ghost, Holy Coast, whatever. whatever so you know, I got a fourth grade education. We're going to talk about the things and a couple of the lesbians are having the babies. A couple of the lesbians. I don't know how it happened, but we're going to talk about it. So it's time for... Oh, come on. It's time for the topics of the... Where at? Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, 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 yes. Topic says hard. Ow, ow. Topic says hard. Ow, ow, You know uh, who I was uh, thinking about? Tasha K. Yes, I was thinking about Tasha K. Uh, Tasha K got all that press. All got all that press last week. Everywhere. And them views are still looking horrible. For all the press that you got with that whole Cardi B lawsuit mess situation of the situation, her, her subscribers are falling. I mean, they not falling, you know, but you know, she ain't that she ain't at a million no more. She was all, ah, we had a million, you know, but you ain't at a million no more. Uh, and she's doing all these interviews with a whole bunch of hoes we don't care about. You know, I'm just like, the, the situation of the situation was, you had all this press, and you doing all this corny mess, interviewing a whole bunch of hoes we don't care about. Baby, a little word of advice to Natasha K, honey. The people care about the fuckery Friday. That's like similar to uh, Wendy Williams Hot Topics. That had, that's how Wendy was able to stay on her ear on the TV for so long. The Hot Topics. That's equivalent to your fuckery Friday. So all these little tired interviews. You bitch nobody care about the little tired interviews. Interviewing uh, uh, a whole bunch of hoes. One of the little tired hoes talking about my Mary J. Blige. Bitch, you leave my Mary J. Blige alone. You don't touch the Mary. Uh, did I tell you all I was tired? I am so exhausted. It is freezing. It is cold. I just hate the winter. I'm so annoyed. And I, I'm just annoyed. I'm just thankful I have someone to talk to, which is you all. I'm so thankful I have someone to talk to, which is my meatballs. Um, I don't do the gay apps, the, the jacks, the grinders, you know, what all you DL men do. Um, I mean, I do them. I put, like, you know, my drag queens, my cross dresser pictures up. And I believe it's this dude that, like, lives, like, down a block from me. Or he's, like, 100 feet or 200 feet away from me. I don't know how far that is. Apparently, he's just on this block. So... I have like two accounts on Grinder. I have my, uh, I have these account. D when I'm a drag, you know, you know, you know, I have that account, and then I have like a a blank profile. So the dude blocked the D account. He blocked the D account. Some D like this is a little black Spanish dude on my block, and and what's crazy is he's also on my Plenty of Fish. And he's like straight on a plenty of fish showing his pictures. So I like looked at his arms and his tattoos. It's the same dude. Like, you know how these deal, man. They don't want to show their face. A bunch of punks. Anyway, 
he blocked the drag queen pitches, right? So I signed into my account with my Blink profile. And I guess he saw that we were close. And like these dudes are so stupid. Like, like you don't put two and two together. Like this is probably the same person. Anyway, so um, he's like inboxing me. Yo, what's good with the scythe or whatever you men talk? Right? Basically, I Googled what it meant in the hood terms is smoking a blunt, passing it, you know, to each other, to, to the next dude. Stuff I would never be involved with. I don't I don't do that stuff. So um I was going to say stupid. Uh this is the same person you just blocked. Like, I didn't hit him up. I guess he's just not into trannies and drag queens and stuff. So, he just automatically blocked. So, but he don't, like, know that. I, I don't know if he knows the same person. So, anyway, I was like, send me a picture. So, it's the same dude from Plenty of Fish, whatever. So, he's like, send me your pictures. I said, okay, let me see. So, I sent him two of my pictures. He's like, yo, yo, let's chill. Let's chill right now. What house you in? Whatever, whatever you said. And I'm I'm on cancer. You know I'm can I'm I'm feeling the way. So you blocked my other profile with me in drag and, and as a tranny or whatever or whatever cross dresser. I don't know what you call us. I don't I don't care. But you want me regular. I mean, don't get me wrong. It made me feel good. Like yeah, people still got it. But at the same time, bitch, I'm feeling away. No. What's the problem with me being in drag and tranny? I know what the problem is. Some dudes are not. They don't want that because I don't want it. I get it. I get it. But are you that stupid? Do you smoke that much weed? Don't you like put the pictures together and say, oh, wait, isn't it the same dude who I just blocked? So I don't know. He keeps setting me up. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? And I'm just leaving him already. No. If if I get drunk enough and then I feel away, maybe I'll say whatever, whatever. And then I don't want no one that close to me anyway. No. I don't want to deal with nobody that close. So he's cute, but no. I might think about it. How's everyone? We are supposed to get maybe like six more weeks of winter because the uh the, the, the greyhound, you know the greyhound then died, that little stupid animal. No, it's not the greyhound. What was it called? The little stupid animal, the, the greyhound. The greyhound. No, that's the bus. <laughs> Yo, what is the stupid animal called? Sister, it looks like Sister Patterson. The little stupid animal, the, the greyhound, the, the hound, the dog, whatever. The dog that comes out and predicts if we are going to have six more weeks of the winter. The little dog, the greyhound and died. The little the little bitch that died, y'all. The day before she was supposed to come out and and, and say if we're gonna have more. I never believe that nonsense. Okay, how's a little damn animal gonna tell us uh, that, that we gonna have it? Bitch, who are you? Oh, ugly, oh, ugly animal. So the, the little the, the little dog whatever is dead y'all. So the greyhound is gone, and um, we don't know if it's gonna be six months more, six more weeks of winter. But the way the things are looking outside, honey, oh we gonna have more winter. It's freezing. It's cold. I tried to walk down a block, almost fell and bust my ass. It's like icy, like it's like rain ice. Like I don't know what's going on. Like lady, what are you doing up there, Jesus Lord? Lady, what's going on? You and your period? What's happening? What's over all this ice? Can we get the summer already? Because I'm over it all. How's everyone? How's your winter going? Ooh. All right, it's hitting me now, y'all. The, 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 uh. Mm, mm. Mm. That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for that buzz. Wait. It's not there yet. Give me a second.
You know these are pants. Oh yes, these are pants. The Bimbo Winehouse clothing line, honey. When you can make pants into a shirt, honey. Don't ask me how I did it, but I did it. You know. Alright, let's get into some topics that's hot. Oh, listen, you all. I don't have a type. Like, I don't have a type. I told you all, as you get older, I'll be 37 this year. You know, uh, types don't matter. If someone like you and they feeling you, baby, that's your type right there. Um, but I do have a type. Like, I don't have a type, but I have a type. Okay, if you ask me if I got a type, like, I don't have a type. Like, I like anybody. As long as you like me, I like you. You know, allegedly. But um, if you ask me, I have a type. Okay, listen. I told you all I love me some African men. I love me some African men. And I I, like, I don't pay these men no mind at my job. And now this African dude is... I told you all about the African man that sits next to me at lunch. I'm over him. I'm like, I don't know this little game. He's like, if you want me, I'm not saying nothing to you. You better be knowing that you want me. I done did enough stuff. I done grabbed my booty in front of you. I done held myself. I done bent over. What? Like, I'm not saying nothing to you. Anyway, there's another African dude there. And, I, like, I don't, I don't know how these stupid men think, you know. So, people who act like they don't like me, I don't like you, okay? So, I get in the elevator, and he gets on the elevator. He's like, hey. And I'm like, hi. I need to be a little more nicer because my friend who I work with is a female I love. She's like, you, you, you look, you look so mean. Maybe that's why, you know, people won't approach you. I don't give a damn if people approach me or not. No, 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 and no, I don't care. I'm going to look mean. No. So anyway, I get on the elevator, right? And he's on there and I wanted to look at him. He's like this little young. And I think because I was on Grindr, I keep my Grindr app on that job. A whole bunch of white men. Why you may be so happy? I don't want to see. I want to see the black dudes. So it said a dude was like five feet away from me. And I'm thinking that was him. But I guess I'm like out the closet and, 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 and gay. People don't like that because they want everybody to be DL like them. But he can't resist the bimbo, honey. You know. So he gets off the elevator. He's like, guy, right, I see you again. I was like, you too, babe. And he walked. But like, I'm not going to go look, go looking for him. If I see him, I see him. It's not nothing. He's really, he's like dark skinned African. I love me some African baby. Things I would do to the African men. So I say all I have to say is you all ask if I have a type. Do you all see this African dude? I don't know if he's African. Whatever he is, he's all over the internet acting a fool. He got these tight pants on. He got some nice thighs. He has a nice body. You all may not consider that a nice body, but baby, I love his body. Some fool, he'll be in the barbershop dancing, acting a fool inside McDonald's. I'm pretty sure you all know who I'm talking about. He's all over the internet. And a lot of you all ask, how do you get famous? That is exactly how. After this fool gets a haircut, he gets up and starts dancing. After he gets his food at McDonald's, he starts dancing. After he's in, he's in the Walmart acting a fool. He gets on a train. He just dances everywhere. Now this fool is at events dancing and, and making himself know. And I want to. You all may think he's ugly, bull, but, but he look good to me, honey. And I like that he has a sense of humor. So it makes it like even more better. He is so sexy. I, I, I can't find him. If I find his social media, I'll post it in the comments. But that is my type. Baby. I will let I like I will lay him on my bed and oil his body up, his old chalk. Oh, I, mm, 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 mm. I love me that. Mm. But that's my type. You know, the typical gay men, they want the little white, cute little white boys and the little Spanish boys and light skin. I want light, no bitch. Bimbo wants the dark skin. I love me about. Mm. You see his thighs, baby. Baby, baby, baby. And speaking of the stupid men. Openly gay men. I really don't care about y'all. Well, the ones who watch me, I like y'all. But for the most part, I really don't care about gay men. Like, I don't like y'all. They don't like me, so whatever. 
Um, not all, maybe like 50 of y'all like, but this is to my openly gay dudes out there. The best advice I can give you on how dealing with these stupid men that you work with, you have to ignore, 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 ignore. Don't just ignore. And you, you have to ignore it. That's the only way it, 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 it's, it's, you have to ignore. I mean, some of you ain't going, you got to argue. I pay them hoes no mind. And I work around a lot of stupid black men. Not all, but at least four. And it's this thing where at jobs, which is so annoying, you have to do this stupid thing called the hurdle, huddle, whatever it's called. Every day before your shift starts, you have to meet with everyone that works with you. And we talk about absolutely nothing. Why do I have to sit in this little circle and talk and look at these souls every day? Why can't we just come in, sign our name, and go and do what we got to do? What is up with this? Like, I've never done this at job before. This stupid huddle. Pre-shift. I, like, I could see once a week. Okay. Twice a week. Every damn day, I got to come in here and look at these old tired hoes. So what I do is, to show these little ignorant, stupid black dudes that I, I I walk in and I say hello to everyone by name. I do it every day. And them little old four tired hoes who's probably DL and gay. I don't even mention them hoes. And, 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 and I make it known. And it makes the room real quiet. Mm -hmm. Bitch. You got a problem. I will never, I will never acknowledge you hoes ever again. They come to the floor and try to, hey, and try to talk to me. No, bitch. If you hurt my feelings once, I will never talk to you or acknowledge you. And you better be careful with a cancer, bitch, because I would never deal with you again. Now they try to be my friend. I will never say that. Oh, do you know where this is at? I don't speak. Go. Get out my face. And now one, he's trying to get real cool with me. What's up? Like, like, no, you, no, please. But I say all that to say is you have to ignore these stupid men. They are stupid, and and, and especially the, the the black men. And I'm talking about when I say black, I mean all. Like, like not all, but like when that's including Jamaican, that's including Haitian, that's including. The, the, the African that's include just, just they're, they're stupid and this is why we are, are at the bottom and the other like uh, races and that they, they flourish because you men are so stupid okay you so worry about what the next man is doing and in the bed when you're supposed to be straight why is it what I do a concern to you because most of you are DL anyway. You go to jail and fuck each other. In prison and fuck each other. And then you want to get out and go to these stupid women who don't know, realize you're, you're nothing but a big old... Look, look, let me not go there. All I'm just going to say again to the openly gays, you have to ignore these stupid men. You have to. Because all they do, they join their little, little games, let them go join their little games, end up in prison, kill each other. Kill by look, they ain't got nothing to do with you. Do you let them stay mad? Cause most of them is DL anyway. Having all these kids to prove that they straight. Like I was saying, like Nick Cannon. Like I like the Nicky, but Nick Cannon, what's going on with you with having all these kids? What are you trying to prove? He got a, another baby coming. I like Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon follows me on Twitter, so I'm not going to say nothing about the Nikki. But 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 Nick, what's going on with you having all these babies? What are you trying to hide or cover up? Oh, I can't be because I got 50 baby mamas. I heard it all before. By the way, speaking of work, I saw a dead body yesterday. Like I was in a room with a dead body. Like I worked at the children's hospital. So I didn't see like no dead kids or nothing. Like, I mean, kids died, whatever. But I didn't actually like be in a room with a dead kid. So yesterday I'm at work 
And um, usually when I go in a room and like change the trash or wipe something out or mop something up, you know, I greet the person. Just I don't make eye contact. Like I don't want no conversation. I don't care how you I, like. I really don't care. Hi. All right. Leave me alone. But I go into this room yesterday and I go, hi, sir. I'm just here to change the trash. And like, you know, he didn't say nothing. So. Like, in my mind, I'm like, well, fuck you, too. Shit. I don't know if he was up or if... Like, I don't know. Whatever. Most of the time, they're up. So, fuck you. Whatever. So, I changed the trash. And I walked out the room. And the lady, the nurse or somebody, walks in. And she, like, covers his head with the uh, sheet. And I look back in the room. Like, I think I went back to go get something. I said, why, why you, why you cover him up like that? Like, what's going on here? The nurse just casually says, oh, he died. Oh, no, he's dead. I said, what? <laughs> I said, what? She's like, yeah, he died 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Bitch, I said, excuse me. He's dead. I've been, I've been in a room with a dead man. She's like, yeah, he's dead. He died 10 minutes ago. I said, oh, hell no, Bitch. Like, like, I'm not understanding. Why didn't I yet close the door or put like a rest in peace sign or something or what? Like, I just walked into this dead man room and just changed his trash. Like, I feel some way. Like, I don't feel a way, but it was just strange. Like, I've never seen a dead body. Like, I've seen a dead body before. My grandpa, who passed away. But this is after the situation when all his organs and stuff was out. This is when he was laying in the casket. I wasn't like there when he just died. You know, my best friends passed away, Dana and Chinchilla. But this was last year when all the uh, COVID was crazy. So people can not really have funerals like that. But I actually never been in a room with a dead person. So this shit is like freaking me out. And these nurses just like casually like, oh, we go through this all the time. Like, and then they said the lady down the hall is about to die too. I'm like, what, what is this? How do y'all not like... Uh. So my friend said, I mean, this is just what happens in a hospital. I'm like, I know, but it's just like... Like, don't they... Like, I was talking to one of my best friends, a.k.a. my grandma. My grandma has truly become my best friend. I love my granny. We were on the phone talking earlier. And I was saying, like, you know... I thought when your family knows you're like soon or going to die or you got a couple of days to live, they put you in this place called like hospice. It's like a, like a hospital, like right before you die, they make it like real. Like I will be really good for hospice. I will make folks really feel, I will make them feel real good about their last days. Like, like that's just my heart. Like I would, I would just really make them feel good, but I really don't want to do it. This is my love here, but um, back to the uh, yeah, I just thought they put people in like good, like not good hospitals, but like, oh, you're gonna die tomorrow. Love is, you know, these bitches. Oh, he's dead. Hello. So I don't know, but yes, they just I saw my first dead body because he was just like, and I didn't like. I really don't like to make eye contact because as soon as you make eye contact with a person, that makes them think, oh, we want, I really don't want to talk to you. I, I'm not a social person. I just come here to mop your floor, change your trash, and get the hell out of this room. I really, I really want to be in here. But I didn't know the man was dead. And I'm cursing him in my head. Oh, well, fuck you too. You can say hi back. And the man was, the man was over there dead, y'all. What kind of shit is this? Y'all can get me out this hospital, honey. Rest in peace to whoever the man was. And I hope the lady ain't dead. Because I walked into the room of the lady that they said is going to die soon. And I you know, I just wanted to peek and see. So I act like she needed her garbage changed. So I walked in. I said, hey, I'm just here to change your garbage. And I looked at her. Maybe. I don't know. She she just looked over it. She. <sighs> Hi. She's just breathing hard. And I, like, I can't take that. Like, I cry. Like, I really went into the bathroom and cried. Like, that could have been my mother or... And, oh. 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 
and I'm gonna cry now, so we gotta move on. So on to the next subject. Well, we are all going to have that day where we're going to die. You know, we don't know the time. We are only here. Like, I, after all this happened, I was sitting down with a female. One of my, my, I love my coworker. I like, I love people who, like, I never understood why you have to come out the closet. Hey, I'm gay. Hi, I like men. I suck dick. You should already know what it is. I mean, there's no really way of acting gay, as per some of you all say. But, bitch, I hate to say it. There's some ways of acting gay. I, I really hate that statement, but you gonna know, honey. So, I never, like, directly said I'm gay. But when we talk, she makes it like, bitch, I know you're a big old queen. And I, I love that. I love that. Like, where you... I don't have to say, girl, you know I like men, honey. No, it's just... She's like, hey, girl, I, I don't mind that. I don't mean my, I don't mind that. Like, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You know, so, I mean, you ain't got to say, hey, girl, but she slips and say it. And it's just funny. She goes, I'm sorry, boy. What it, I, like, girl, I don't care. Like, I'm that type of gay. Like, I don't, it doesn't bother me. You, know, you don't call me no girl, yo. Whatever. Anyway, moving on. And by the way, to someone on my last show who made a statement about I'm not comfortable around people about being gay and lady I don't know what you talking about I have no clue she made a comment I don't know what you what are we what are we talking about honey no I am not a social person like yesterday this chick I know I guess she knows me and she walked into the lunch room and I'm eating I'm eating alone by myself and she comes in, she go, hey. And I'm like, hi. Mind you, I had headphones on. And she just decides to sit right next to me. And I, like, I roll my eyes, bitch. I didn't act, like, I don't want you to sit next to me. So she puts her, but she had me fucked up. She puts her food down. I guess she always go sit down and kiki and talk and lunch. No, bitch, this has been, I don't do none of that crap. I will sit in a staircase and eat my food alone before I sit down with a group of people or any, I like to be alone. What don't these hoes understand? And this is what I hate to tell my friend who likes me at the job. Like when I, I like, please don't sit at me at lunch. Like, like we can talk during the work hours, but when it's time for lunch and stuff, I want to be left alone. Like I, I, I need to be alone. So she understands that. So she she me at lunch and she goes, but this other chick don't understand that. So she comes down, she go heats up her food in a microwave and she goes into the bathroom. Oh, you really think you're going to sit here and talk to me? Uh-uh, honey. I picked up my food. I, I, I put all my food back into my little plate. I got my bag and I walked right out that cafeteria and I went somewhere else to go eat. No, no, honey. You ain't going to sit here and talk to me to death. Uh-uh. So... You know, actions to speak loud. Like, I had a, like, my food was spread it out. And I know she came out the bathroom like, damn. Yes, bitch. You went, mm, mm not me. I like to be alone. I, mm, mm leave me alone. Leave me alone. Like, I like my own. And I was upset because that's where the African guy, I told you, he sits. Like, I told you, we do this little game at, at work. So, I sit here and, and, and she's, and he sits there. And I know he gets mad when someone's sitting there. So I caught an attitude. Bitch, my man's are dead. You need to go over there. That just made me mad. Anyway, what are we talking about? Oh, the, the whoop. We need to talk about the whoop. And this whole, what is it? Holy Ghost, ho, 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 Holocaust. This whole Jewish situation of the, look, I don't know too much about no Holy Ghost. What is it? Holocaust? What? Look, I don't know. I don't care about this stuff, but apparently Whoopi Goldberg upset it a lot of people to the point where they suspended Whoopi for two weeks. And I don't watch the view. You know, the only time I watch it is when they make headlines. So I went back and watched what Whoopi said. I watched the whole segment and Whoopi was talking about whatever she was talking about. I said, where in this statement that Whoopi said that it upset people? 
I didn't see nothing wrong in what Whoopi said. Maybe she, you all said she was uh, wrong in her statement, but it wasn't coming from a place of hate. It just looked, this is what Whoopi thought that situation was about. And not only that, Whoopi, the whoop, went on the air the next day and had someone come explain to her what she said was wrong. And not only that, the whoop apologized to these old tired hoes. She and said, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Shame on me. But yet and still, you old tired hoes keep that Megan McCain on and she just disrespects everybody in their mama. That hoe ain't never had no two weeks of suspension, nothing. Nothing, I will tell you, hoe ain't never had nothing. She went and everyone hated that bitch. You ain't never see that bitch get two weeks of suspension. So here's two of the things I want Whoopi to do. Here's two, two, one or two things. This is if I was the whoop. If I was the whoopie, this is what I would do. One, my first day back from my two week suspension, I would get on the show and I would come out and I would just talk, but I wouldn't talk as much as I used to. I would just like talk a little bit where they think like I'm fine, like everything is cool. And then at the end of the show, I would say before we guys, before we before we end the show, guys, this, this is what I would do, Sister Madison. Before the show was over, guys, I just want to say it's been a pleasure of working with you guys for 15 years. We had our ups. We had our downs, but you hoes got me fucked up. And I would have whipped right into my bra. Here's my resignation letter. Goodbye. Got up and just walked out. That would have been it. I would have. I would have. I would have did the whole show though, and I would have just act like every everything was fine. And right at because I when I quit the casino. And uh, rest in peace, Chinchilla. It was crazy. Let me tell you all. I, I don't think I ever told you all this story. Um, when I quit the casino before I moved to Ohio, um, everyone know I liked to be. I like to be alone. So they used to always put me in an area where I'd be alone, and then you know do my little job, and I'd be alone. So this particular day, they kept putting me in this area with other people. Um, it was lottery. But I would do like a lot of reclaim where if you hit a, if you hit over six hundred dollars, you would come to me and I'll cash your ticket and I'll give you a check or your cash, whatever you want. But I just hate being there. I just like to be in this other area alone, whatever. But that day it was cool because it was me, Chinchilla, rest in peace, my friend. Oh, I miss my Chinchilla. Chinchilla. It's always cool, whatever, whatever. So one of the managers came upstairs who we have like we we have like a love hate relationship. I love her, but I can't stand her. But I love her. And it's the same way. It's just a love-hate relationship. So, lottery was getting crazy with the people who played the numbers. New York lottery. And I'm just standing there because no one was really hitting over 600. So, I was standing there for like 20, 30 minutes doing nothing. So, the manager comes upstairs. Uh, uh, just Sean, you're not doing no work. Baby, y'all put me in lotto claim. This is just for... Uh, uh, six hundred dollars or more. If you hit over, you know the the big bucks. I didn't put y'all make the schedule. So, um, Chinchilla comes in because he just came off break, and he was they had two lottery, had two lottery things, but Chinchilla was on break. So the one guy was by himself, and the line was long. So she comes upstairs, whatever, whatever. Oh, you play lottery all the time. How you don't know how to play the lotto lotto machine? Because I don't know how to play the lotto. I know how to play lotto numbers. I don't know how to do the lot of machine. Well, you are going to learn today and you we're going to make sure you're going to be on it for the next three to two, to two, two to three, four weeks. You're going to be lottery, lottery. You're going to learn this system. So in the meantime, Chinchilla is walking in the room and hearing all this, me and her going at it. Mind you, she's doing this in front of customers. So she said, you're going to stay here to 12 o'clock and we're going to make sure you're going to learn lottery. Oh, that manager had me fucked up. Chinchilla walked in. The other dude was standing there. It was another dude watching. 
I walked right into the corner because they already know what was going to happen that day. I said, here, it was an envelope. She looked. She said, Deshaun, what is that? I said, honey, you know what this is? Because it was word that I was moving to Ohio. So I was like, baby, you know what this is? She said, it's your two weeks. I said, yep. Maybe she took the letter and just walked out and, and that was it. When I tell you that was, yo, when I tell you to chilla, everybody, the people who was in front was laughing. Every She looked just so stupid. She said, really? You're going to do this in front of everybody? No, really? You're going to come up here and tell me what I need to do in front of everybody? And she walked out looking stupid. Oh, Ch 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 Chilla told. Oh, I miss my friend. Ch Chilla told. That was my two weeks. I gave her my two weeks and that was that. Now, when I went to go visit them a couple of weeks ago, oh, she was, mind you, she was the same lady the day I left who had to like take my, like I said, we have a love and, 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 and hate relationship. I'm not going to say her name, but shout out to you, woman, who I love, but I can't stand her, but I love her. And I was happy to see her when I went back a couple of weeks ago. And hopefully I will go back. But I say all that about the Whoopi situation. Whoopi need to uh, quit. But I was reading what Whoopi makes every episode. <laughs> I said, no, wait a minute now. <laughs> Hold on. Don't quit yet. <laughs> um, she quit or she going to stay. I would throw it in their face every chance I get. Every time I'm about to make a statement, I would go, you know what? I was going to say something, but I don't want to offend nobody. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. Yeah, we're, we're going to go to break. We'll be right back. Like every time I'm going to make a statement about a group or a group of people or something. Of, so I'm, I, You know what? I'm not going to say nothing because I don't want to offend nobody. And I would throw it in their face every chance I get. And I'm at this point, Whoopi, you would just be there for your little paycheck. Or oh, until they fire you. Because I'm hearing Whoopi makes, what, 100000 each episode or every week or whatever. Whatever the case, she makes a lot of money. But I'm just not understanding how you are on a show called The View. The View. And you can't give your view on the situation of the... What is the purpose of the show being called The View? Just because you all disagree with my view doesn't mean I need to be suspended for two weeks because I'm not saying what you want to hear. Maybe that whole show needs to go at this point. And I'm telling you now, if Whoopi goes, them show ratings is going, look, because them over old tired hoes can't hold that show. Got a nerve. You can't express... Uh, and it's not like she didn't apologize. She apologized the next day and she had someone, Sister Patterson, come on the show and say, look, you was wrong. And Whoopi said, I'm sorry. What more do y'all hoes want her to do? Go suck some white cock? Moving on. Um, Shout out to the lesbians. All the lesbians out here who are having babies. Look. I can say this because I'm gay. How is this happening? How is these hoes having babies and you both got two coochies? I'm not understanding all these hoes, these lesbian hoes. Oh, I'm pregnant. Bitch, who's the father? I mean, the real father. Because the brat or Judy, I don't even know which one is having a baby. Who's the man? Because who, who's this, who's this child baby father? But apparently, I look, I don't know how this works. Maybe someone needs to come on and tell me how this works. But I want to shout out to the lesbians. The brat and Judy announced that one of them hoes is, is, is having a baby. And then the other lesbian couple announced that they're having babies. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, shout out to them two lesbians. They announced that they are having babies. And we already know who's having this. Rihanna's the one giving birth. Look, I don't know how this is happening. I don't. I don't know how the Brett and the Judy, and I don't know how the Rihanna 
in the ASAP Rocky. Yes, you heard me, bitch. You heard me right. You all know that's a woman. <laughs> oh, bimbo. Bimbo, 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 bimbo. Anyway, congratulations to the lesbians. Listen to me. Drake is upset and he unfollowed both of them hoes. He unfollowed Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. This is what I cannot stand about stupid men. Maybe Rihanna wanted a baby with Drake. Maybe, let's just say, because I don't know if these two were together. Like, I don't know what was the situation of the situation. Like, was you two hoes together? Was you fucking or not? Like, at one point, we thought Nikki and Drake was fucking, but these two hoes was just playing fake. Like, well, like, I don't understand these relationships. Was Rihanna really with Drake? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand the situation of the situation. Like, are you, what is this, some, some high school mess? Are you two really together? So, I don't know if Drake was really trying to have a baby with Rihanna or if Rihanna really wanted a baby with Drake and he was, ah, and he go have that old ugly baby. Oh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't, I'll mess with baby. I'll mess with the kids. I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm a little drinking. But he went and had that baby with that dot, that old hoe. Okay, Drake don't want Drake didn't want that child. This is why you men need to use your condoms and 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 and, and pull out and then you need to take the condoms with you. Okay, because it's some trifling. Drake no good well who did not want that baby with that woman. That woman looked like she's 65 years old, his baby mama. She just had that uh Bazilla butler to make her look young, but that bitch looked old as hell. Anyway, back to the Drake. Ha ha. Women ain't going to sit around waiting for you old tired men. They are going to go find another woman. And she did. ASAP Rocky. Hey, ASAP. I don't know how you got her pregnant, but you did. So congrats to the Rihanna and congrats to uh to the uh, ASAP and congrats to all you lesbians having these babies. Again, I don't know how it's happening, but congratulations. Now, <sighs> Nicki Minaj and the baby, speaking of babies, the baby or little baby or big baby or baby girl, I don't know which one of these souls, babies, all these babies. She released her new song with baby uh, called, what is the song called? Are, are you scared? Oh, do we have a problem? Yes, we do have a problem, Nicki Minaj. The song is trash. I, I said, really, girl, you, you did all this hype for this nonsense. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the video. And what it looks like, Nicki Minaj is setting up her acting career. Because apparently she doesn't care about her music no more. So she's showing off her acting skills which i which i thought were really great she's a, she's a great actress the video I, I i didn't understand the video like what, what the fuck is going on here at the end but the video was good it kept my interest the whole nine minutes nine minutes i really but um the song is trash and i just feel like Nicki minaj are you scared to release pop music are you scared to go back to your roots and, and release some good old pop music? Uh, uh, what's the one? Boom, 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 boom. That's super bass. Baby, these are, these are the songs that made you the Nicki Minaj that you are. These are the songs. So you need to get back to them pop. Like It's like she's afraid to release pop songs because when she was releasing all them, the people, oh, she ain't hip hop. Bitch, fuck them. Shit. You you get what you you get to the money, honey. Isn't that what you say you queens people do get to the money? Just give a damn if you ain't releasing no hip hop. You get need to get back to them songs that made you the Nikki. Cause this whole I gotta be hood, it is it's just it's just corny. I'm sorry. I was a little hyped for this song. I said, okay, let me check out that. I came home, had me a drink, and I'm just like, this is the song here. This is the song that she was... All this hype for this shit is trash, honey. And, and, and during her press, 
Nikki was doing like a, a lot of press. She was just popping up on on random people podcasts, Junebug podcasts with Nikki. I'm like, what's what, what's Nikki Minaj? All these random people podcasts, a whole bunch of people we don't know. Like everyone has a talk show. This is why Wendy is is, is done with this shit. Everyone picks up their phone and think they are a talk show host or have a podcast. I see why Wendy got her money and said, you know what, you hoes can have this. I birthed all you hoes, but. She was on somebody's podcast, I don't know, and they asked her about the city girls, that she had some beef with them old corny girls, them city girls, whatever, you no know, corny bitches, um, and Nicki Minaj says something to affect, the bitches don't like me, so what the fuck I like them hoes for, and I, and, and I like that, I like that, uh, do you hear people, no, my thing is, why do you all act like Nicki Minaj is God? You all, oh, I got to get a song with Nicki Minaj and, and, and like she's that bitch. Shout out to Missy Elliott, who's the real queen. All six of Missy Elliott's albums have went platinum, okay? Shout out to Missy, who's very uh, humble, unlike Nicki Minaj as. You, got, you, you all got this, this woman thinking she's just God. And bitch, you ain't all that because God will put out some hits. This old, do we have a problem? Shit is, shit is trash. And the only people is hyping is your little barbs. They support any... And, and you know what? I, re, I, I support you, you barbs, okay? Because even if the shit is trash... Like a lot of her music's been in the past years. You all are going to support that bitch and make her feel like she is the queen that she is. And uh, and honestly, I talk a lot of trash about Nicki because I really don't care about her. You know, I'm from the Foxy and Lil' Kim era. But I must really give her props. Even if the song and music is trash, she has been very consistent delivering music. Delivering songs and just feeding her little dumb barb. So I do have to commend her on that. But you always need to tell her the truth. Bitch, you need to come hard or don't come at all. If you're supposed to be the queen, this do we have a problem song is just whack. And I'm really not a fan of Sasweetie or Sasweetie or whatever the bitch name is. The one who's with Quavo. But she has a song coming out with her. And I've heard a few of Sasweetie. How do you say that bitch name? Saswata. I don't know. The one who was getting her beat, her ass whooped by uh, the guy in the elevator. I like her new song. She only played like a little, uh, like a little snippet. I was like, you know what? Finally, after you putting out all these hundred songs, this is finally a song I might actually listen to your words. But it comes out next week, February 11th. Anyway, moving on from Nicki Minaj. Oh wait, one more thing about Nicki Minaj. All these hoes is thirsty to work with her. And Little Nas X, who's apparently is missing in action. And you all, uh, uh, Little Nas X need to go away. He's bad for the kids. We don't want him around. He's gay. Now he's not saying nothing. He's missing in action. You all hoes want him to go away. Now he went away. Everyone, where's Little Nas X? Where's Little Nas X? Where's he at? Is he okay? Oh, <laughs> I thought you all tired hoes want him to go. He's bad for you little badass kids. So he's away. But anyway, um, oh hell, I don't know what I was talking about. Shout out to Lil Nas. I hope you are okay. Because they say in the last post he posted was something about he had COVID. And you you all know how you say about gays. We all got AIDS. And the COVID and the AIDS don't mix. So you know what you hoes say about us gays. Oh, you all got gays. You're gonna, you all gonna die. Oh, shh. Can't stand you hoes. But Lil Nas, you little chocolate sexy self. I hope you are okay. Okay? Um, I really don't care for your music. I just like that you come out and be gay as gay can be and make these hoes mad. Like the little closet cases like Mr. Boosie. Did you all see that video of Mr. Bo uh, the Boosie in that, in that car? Look like he wanted to get fucked in the ass. So tired. Oh, I can't stand old. Oh, I cannot stand them old queens. Moving on. Oh, speaking of old queens, Young Buck. Young Buck. I want to shout out to DJ Mr. C. What I, you know. And let me shout out. There's some things in the works for this year. Let me just shut up. But I just want to shout out to DJ Mr. C. Who, you know, after we had our little situation of the situation, he said, look, I like men. Look, and what? 
Mr. C done moved on, living his life with, with the men and then women and whatever he likes, whatever. This is Young Buck. Young Buck, you just need to come to terms that you are gay or bisexual or whatever you are. This is this is why you're so angry. This is why a lot of these black men out here are angry because they can't come to terms of who they truly are. I read that Young Buck was arrested going to some woman's house beating up her car and, and, and causing hell. Leave that woman alone. Leave her alone, young buck. Now he's back in jail where he really where he really wanna be. He can enjoy his activities. That's where a lot of your baby big fathers like to be. Stand these men. Anyway, I don't care about no young buck. I can't stand about the I can't stand these down low men. Look, you little D gay come to terms of who you truly are. You won't be upset with these women. Be happy. These are the ones who's keeping your secret hidden. Okay, I'm ready to go. Four quick stories. Summer Walker new hairstyle. Leave her alone. She wanted to try something different. The problem is you hoes is so used to everyone walking around looking the same. When a bitch want to try a new hairstyle, oh, she's weird. She's this. No, how about she just want to be her motherfucking self? She don't want to put on those same old wigs that you all are wearing. Summer Walker, I support you and I support anybody who wants to be different. You ain't got to be like everyone else. God didn't put his hair to be like everybody else. That's the problem now with this world. You want what they got with. No, Summer Walker, you chop your hair off. And I live and I love it. And you keep putting out your good music, bitch. I'm here to support you. And anybody who wants to be different, give a hell with the hell of these people to stay. Tisha Campbell, Gina, like I said on my old show, them cops don't believe you, ho. And I didn't believe you. Told you the men and what that old pussy, oh, tight pussy, talk about, oh my God, they were trying to kidnap me for this old Gina Coochie. Bitch, don't ain't with that Coochie. The cops are saying that Tisha Campbell's story sounded like bullshit. And I didn't even watch the video. I just knew, Gina, don't like what you bitch. It was probably somebody who wanted to whoop your ass for messing up Martin season five. We could have got another five seasons, but you want to come here and talk about Martin was trying to do all this to you. Bitch, please. Moving on, Janet Jackson, congratulations to you. They said you had all these views last week on your little corny documentary that I did not watch. And I just want to say, before you start feeling all good, it was snowy last week. And people probably had nowhere or nothing to do. So these hoes decided to watch a little old corny documentary, which I did not watch. But speaking of the Janet Jackson, they asked her if there's a woman out there who she will let eat her coochie. And she said, yes, Alicia Keys. So Alicia Keys, we all know you are dyke. If you want to eat the Janet Jackson coochie, bitch, the legs is open. Moving on. Last story. To you old tired hoes out there who want to take a picture with Donald Trump. Donald Trump said he is charging $100,000. Yes, he won 100 of them things for you to take a picture with his old fat ugly ass. So if you want to take a picture with the Donald Trump, it's going to cost you $100,000. And if you are paying that, please take the picture so we can see the fool that did this. The fool that paid $100,000 to Donald Trump to take a picture. Please take this picture so we can just see the fool that you are. Anyway, you guys, I got to go. I got to get ready for the stupid job tomorrow, which I'm stressed about. But it will soon be over, bitch. I love you all. And if you would like to send a little donation, which I can use, the Cash App is above and the PayPal is above. I will talk to you all in a couple of days. Remember... So pray for me and I will pray for you. <sighs> Add me on Instagram, Bimbo Winehouse. Follow me on Facebook. <sighs> I got to go. Talk to my meatballs later. Walka wonka. Ew, ew. Bye bye.